Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So this is about Cambridge Institute of Technology, Bangalore and I am going to review all of the placements for 25-26 batch and the other details. So first starting with the uh, overall institution, it's an autonomous institution. So a lot of students are looking for autonomous engineering college and this is option in Bangalore. And from NAC accreditation perspective, it's a NAC A plus college. So quite decent there. Apart from that, it is approved by ACTE and it is an autonomous institution affiliated to VTU. Uh, it's a, it has also got ISO 9001-2015 certified institute, right? So status. In terms of ranking, some of the places like SOHM Data Quest ranking, they have got around 68th best engineering college in uh, India and uh, it's rated as diamond in the IQS IQH. So campus is close to 15 to 16 acres, a short campus tour here. So you saw decent amount of student lifestyle with digital classrooms available and auditorium visiting capacity of 1000 plus and fitness clubs are there, students clubs are there for student cultural and technical activities. So this is some of the picture of sports infrastructure and fully automated library and the classrooms you can see here. Some of the pictures more from the cultural events as Chingaru it is called and this is about their hostel facilities available for both boys and girls in the campus and gym facilities again available in the campus itself. So some of the pictures here, here, canteen and then students who want to take transportation, they can avail bus service. Now coming specifically for the BE admission process, right? So they do have a good number of branches like computer science engineering, artificial intelligence, machine learning, information science engineering, then your electronics and communication engineering, electrical electronics engineering, mechanical CSC with IoT and CSC with data science. So all the branches from a computer to non-computer are already there. And if you talk about the seat matrix, the highest number of seats are there in the computer science engineering branch. You can see 420 seats are there. Talk about the AIML and the information science engineering. Both the branches have around 120 seats available. And in the computer specialization part, you have Internet of Things, IoT with uh, cyber security, including blockchain and data science branch. So each of these branches have 60 seats. So 60 for IoT and 60 for data science branch. Now they have electronics and communication engine, good number of seats available there, 180 seats are there. And electrical and electronics engineering, which is the core branch and 60 seats available. Mechanical engineering again from the core engineering side, 60 seats available. And the last branch you see is civil engineering. There are also 60 seats are available. So this covers both the campus. One is the main campus which is in Krishna Rajpuram. And there is a second campus which is also called the North Campus. right? So there are two campuses including that. And talking about some of the scholarship available only for the CET students. So if you are getting between 1000, uh, under 1000 rank, you will get 100% scholarship. And between 1000 to 2000 rank in KSET exam, 50% scholarship. So I don't know why somebody will join this college after getting under 2000 rank. Now talking about the placements part, which is the most important you are waiting for. So this is the highlight of 24-25 placements. So they have mentioned around 790 plus offers. So this includes of multiple offers which students get. So the number of placed students would be lesser. But the total number of offers were 790 across engineering, non-engineering, MBA, MCA, MTech all put together. And the highest package was 53.5 lakhs. And the average package is 7.2 lakhs. It's so talking about the student who got the highest package 53.5 lakh this year in 2024 which is an excellent job and student from AIML branch artificial intelligence and machine learning and that's a student name Edward Zoin Saji and the company is called Bootify where the highest package 
Similarly, in the previous year, in 2023, there was the highest package of 20.5 lakhs and approximately 5 students from computer science related branches got it. And the company was O slash. So, these are 5 students of 23 batch getting the package of 20 lakhs. Some more higher packages of this batch was around 10 lakhs. So, student from CSC in the company called Lead Square. Uh, the another two students uh, in electrical engineering batch and CSC branch in the company called Finestra. So there are two students in Lead Square, two in Finestra, getting 10 lakhs each. Now, talking about the branch wise placements, and you can see the comparison of last three years, right? So, in CSC, if you see the highest package was 27 lakhs in 2022 batch which uh, uh, dropped to 21 lakhs and in 2024 batch the highest package of CSC was 16 lakhs and the average package they claim is around 8.1 for CSC. Information science engineering if you see 15 lakhs was the highest salary in uh, 22 then it increased to 21 lakhs and this year it was 15 lakhs. ECE branch the highest salary is again more than 10 lakhs so in seven, 17 lakhs in 2022 batch 23 batch you got 11 lakhs highest salary and in uh, 2024 batch it is around 14 lakhs so there also up to csc ecisc looks good option in triple e engineering branch again the highest salary were 9 lakhs in the previous two years but this year it is around 11 lakhs so with the average package of 6 lakhs now moving further uh, me mechanical engineering the highest salary was 9 lakhs this year with the average package of 5.5 Civil engineering this year the highest package was 10 lakhs. Previous years it was 9 and 8 lakhs with the average package of 4.5 lakh. And the surprise which is the new branch which in started in 2025 batch you can see the highest package was 53.5 lakhs in 2025 batch with the average package of 6 lakhs around. Now talking in terms of the NIRF placement details which I cover for all the colleges giving the exact data what they submit, submitted for the NIRF ranking right. So in 2022 batch you can see they showed around 646 students eligible for placements out of which 294 got placed. So placements were not good enough and it was just less than 50% placement with a median salary of 4.57 lakhs. In 2023 batch, the number of students who got placed were increased like to 323 again with the median salary of 6.15. So placement percentage was around 50%. This year if you see a little bit increase in the placements and 450 students got placed. So placement percentage will be still around 60 to 70%, 6, 60%. But the median salary they have in, increased to 6 lakhs. So the median salary is around 6 lakhs and expect around 60% placement so top branches of engineering uh, which is upon computer isc you know and csc specializations ece and up to that level easily you can take so that's all i have to update in this uh, uh, cit and thanks for watching please do subscribe channel to get similar updates on all the colleges in karnataka take care and bye